Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org. Enjoy. Well, we're getting a lot of law today. A deep understanding of the law. Deuteronomy 5, 12. Read. Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it as the Lord thy God Yahweh hath commanded thee. Now we found that to sanctify is something within our power. Sanctification is something that we choose to do. It's what we choose to do. Would someone come to uh, the microphone back in the middle and uh, read to us sanctify? I think a lot of people went to church and they called it a sanctified church and didn't know what they were saying. Some people said, I'm sanctified. And I don't think they know what they were saying either. All right, son. Sanctify. To reserve for sacred use. To reserve for sacred use. Well, you mean I don't have to go snot and foam at the mouth to do that? Okay. Consecrate. Consecrate. See, I don't think you looked that word up either. If you had understood that this is what sanctification meant, you could have been intelligent about the matter. But we were taught to be foolish. I feel so bad, you know, just having come up ignorant like that. It, it just hurts my heart. You know, I feel terrible. How many feel bad? I mean, it just makes you feel bad. You could be run a game on like this. Consecrate it. To consecrate yourself. A beat on. To make holy. See? To sanctify. It didn't say go and get holy. There's that big word. Boy, if you studied make holy, you'd be in my management class. I've been teaching on make for the last three weeks. And we have years to go yet. You don't have any idea what it means to make yourself holy. You can't go snot somewhere and get holy. I went to the church last night and I came back home sanctified. I am now sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost and dead with fire. <laughs> Weren't we pitiful? And our people who still believe like that are pitiful. Because they don't have the intelligence of this. To sanctify is to make yourself holy. If you say, I'm sanctified, you're saying, I made myself holy. And if I say, well, what do you mean by that? You ask people in Christianity, well, what do you mean you make yourself holy? Uh, child, I just went down there and they told me to come on down to the altar. And they had me down there clapping my hands and hollering. And all of a sudden, I began to jerk, and I started to cry, thinking about all those sinful things I used to do. And was doing when I went last night, too. So when I got through, they told me I was sanctified. I got up, and I testified and told them, I'm oh, sorry for all the sins I've done. I ain't going to sin no more. <laughs> The things I used to do, I feel a change. 
You have no sense, but you fail to change it. You ever notice that everybody that got saved and sanctified was out back doing what everybody else was doing next week? <laughs> then they didn't get very sanctimonious, did they? Then they tell you you backslid. How can you slide back from something you never got to? You never got to the point to make yourself holy. It's going to blow your mind for just a little bit. Go ahead. Purify. Pur purify yourself. That's what Leviticus 11 44 says. Sanctify yourself. That means you have to purify your mind. And you cannot, how many can see to purify oneself is impossible to go down and, and stand in front of some so-called altar and smart and come back purified. You don't know anymore after you came back than you did when you went. How can you be purified? You don't know what the word means. Read on. To give religious sanction to, as with an oath, sanctify marriage. To cause a practice, for example, to piously observe or revered. Revere. Revered. To make productive of holiness or blessing. That's it. That's it? Yes, well, it's more than what you think it is. Said to make. Go back in the beginning. Read. To reserve for sacred use. To reserve it. yourself for sacred use. You don't know what sacred means. Read on. To make holy. To make holy. Look up the word holy. Holy. Some, went, some belong to the holiness church and have never known what holy is. And use the term, without holiness, no man shall see God. Without holiness, you must be holy. And don't know what in the world it means. Well, let's learn for the first time in our life. Read. Holy. Belonging to, derived from, our high esteem. Belonging to. You didn't know what, Yahweh. Belonging to Yahweh. Derived from, you come from Yahweh. You can't be holy unless you come from Yahweh. If you don't come from Yahweh, if you're not Yahweh's seed, you cannot be holy. It is, I don't care who you are. That means no nation on earth can be holy but Israel. Because only Israel comes from Yahweh. So no other nation on the planet Earth can be holy but us. Now that's the first law that you have to understand. Only the so-called black man of America, the children of Israel, can be holy. Nobody else can be. You don't even have it within you. It's not in your genes and chromosomes to be holy. But when you're Israel, it's in your genes and chromosomes to be holy. And when you are Judah of Israel, it's in your genes and chromosomes to be superior. And have a superior power of mind. It's in your genes and chromosomes. Holy, read on, son. Holy, belonging to derived from or associated with a divine power. A divine, <laughs> a divine power. How about the divine power? Associated with, there's that word, divine power. 
I told you you were born with divine intelligence, superior power of mind, didn't I? See? To be holy is to be associated with the divine power. Who is Yahweh himself? We know. Sacred. Sacred, there's that word again. Mm -hmm. Worthy of wit. Worthy of worship. Wor wait, 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 wait. Worthy of worship? Yes, sir. To be holy is to be worthy of worship. Therefore, all nations shall come and worship at our feet. Judah, you are worthy to be worshipped. And you are so holy when you keep Yahweh's law, that they must worship at your feet. I don't have any problem knowing I am worthy to be worshipped. Because I'm associated with divine power, Yahweh. That makes me worthy of being worshipped. Oh, it's a new slot of knowledge, huh? And we make everybody on earth worship who? Yahweh. Yahweh. Because we worship who? Yahweh. And because they can't see Yahweh, who do they have to worship? Us. Us. I like that order. You should be so happy to find this out, you should be delirious. Delirious, out of your mind. Your problem is you don't feel worthy. Because you probably in Psalm 1970. But when you become a keeper of the law with understanding, you will understand that Judah is worthy to be worshipped. That's why Yahweh said, you only have I known. Of all the families of the earth. And so since we're the only ones that he'll allow to see him, that makes us associated with him. We're associated with Yahweh. We were Yahweh associates. We sat down and had dinner with him. We had lunch with him. Associated with Yahweh. So all the nations were jealous. Are jealous. So Yahweh established an order. His order is awesome. It's just absolutely awesome. Praise Yahweh. Not going to be awesome, it is awesome. To understand this fact. As here, uh, holy, characterized by perfection and transcendence, commanding absolute adoration and reverence, spiritually pure, being awesome, frightening, or beyond belief. <laughs> and Yahweh told us, be holy. He said, he said be awesome. Be frightening. Be beyond belief. I hope you notice that Yahweh has us on a course bringing out his nature and our nature. The power of our mind in Yahweh. I hope you know it. Leviticus 11, 44 said, Be holy like I am 
holy, for I am holy. You be holy. That's a mighty powerful scripture. Be awesome. Because I'm awesome. Be frightening. Because I am frightening. Be beyond belief. Because I am beyond belief. Be devastating. Because I am devastating. Be a creator. Because I am the creator. Have you not heard that you are God? This is what the white man has never wanted you to find. And I believe you've been following my teachers long enough for me to bring this out to you. I've been a long time holding my peace on this. While black people are running around trying to integrate with white people and trying to make white people love them and trying to show how nonviolent they are, we're going to be running around showing how awesome we are. See, if, as long as we do not know we are supposed to be awesome, we'll sit back and say, let Yahweh be awesome. We'll sit back with a spook mentality and say, only Yahweh is awesome. But we forgot that he said, be perfect like he is, be holy like he is. We didn't know what it meant. And we went to some church and let him put us in a trick. If you went into a house of holiness, you should have understood what it meant. I didn't know I was supposed to be awesome. Frightening. Beyond belief. Now I want somebody to tell me what awesome is, son. Give me awesome. Since I'm supposed to be awesome, I want to understand what I'm supposed to be like. So Yahweh doesn't call you until you can't understand that this is high above the ordinary man. So we landed in here today is high, is wisdom high above. If you're not careful, you'll sit in here and still miss it. You can't accuse me of not teaching you. You just might want to miss it, but I'm teaching you. But when you're clapping, I'm beginning to think you might be beginning to understand. Understand that you're somebody special. That you're not an ordinary human being. That you are a special being. That your being is divine. That you, we are divine beings. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Despite all, expressing our characterized by all. Turn the off first, then we come to off. All. An emotion of mingled reverence, dread. Know, what kind of reverence? Mingled. Oh, all right. An emotion of mingled reverence, dread. 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 But we can't go past that till we find out what dread is. Dread. Then I read the dread of peace. See, to be holy is to have dread going forth before you. Deuteronomy 2, what? 25. 25. Come on, let's turn to Deuteronomy 2, 25. To be holy is to have dread of yourself going before you. People are supposed to say, I'm scared of you. I'm scared. 
better y'all. That's what they're supposed to say. Dread, read it. Dread, to be in terror of. To be in terror of. You went in the church and got holy, in the holiness church, and got holy, sanctified church, and thought you got sanctified, and ain't nobody having no terror of you. Come out of that terrified. <laughs> Instead of sanctified, you are terrified. Read, read Deuteronomy 2 25. Read. This day will I begin to put the dread of thee and the fear of thee upon the nations that are under the whole heaven who shall hear report of thee and shall tremble and be in anguish because of thee. That holiness. Now that holiness. Now that being holy. When the fear of us and the dread of us go of all, all the nations of the earth, when they just hear about us, that's holy. So to be terrified. There's nobody on the planet Earth teaching like this. There's only one teaching like this. On the whole planet Earth, there's not another. If there's another, bring it to me. I want to meet him. <laughs> Terrified. When people look it up and feel terror in their heart. See, you don't know what they be feeling. They're not lying when they tell you they're scared. They're supposed to be scared. That means don't make us mad. Don't make us mad. We're associated with Yahweh. To make us mad is to make Yahweh mad. We're associated with Yahweh. See what being holy means? Greetings, royal family. Let's talk about the most prestigious private university in the universe. The University of Yahweh. It is here where students, parents, Adults and teachers study the divine mind of Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, thus elevating them to contemplate and understand the loftier concepts and principles, enabling their minds to focus and think on an extraterrestrial level. This intellectual ability and unique set of skills supersede all base, mundane, and terrestrial thinking, thus allowing one's minds to open up and flourish with an overwhelming abundance of creative ideas and loftier concepts, making life and living more enjoyable. The University of Yahweh is woven deep within the fabric of the moral principles of truth, honesty, integrity, true holiness, righteousness, ethics, and justice for all. The University of Yahweh is designed for the Godhead, and this includes students, parents, adults, and the Godhead. In the University of Yahweh, the online platform, you gain a structured format to the approach of the divine mind of Yudhe Yahweh. We welcome you to visit our website at www.universityofyahweh.org. This platform is specifically 
designed for the Godhead and the Godhead family. The 144,000 chosen to rule in righteousness. We look forward to working with you as we prepare for rulership in righteousness. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Beit Noon Sophie Yudhe Wafe. Shalom, Royal Family. Thank you.